All right, everyone, Cowboy Trade, sir. Welcome back to the channel for another update on Bitcoin. So Bitcoin just had a major rejection down 3.5% in only two hours. Are we heading back down to 20,000 and what just happened? Well, this rejection just solidified in the past two hours as we have got some new inflation data coming in. As we talked about on the channel almost two months ago, talking about how these inflation indexes were going to bottom in June and they were going to start turning up. We had CPI turn up and in the past couple of hours or so, we've just got a new reading for PCE. If we come over to our first chart, you can see the PCE index on a month over month basis is up 0.2%. And if we're looking at real consumer spending month over month, this is up 0.6%. We've also got core PCE up 0.2%. The PCE index year over year rising to 3.3% from its previous reading at 3%. And we've also got core PCE year over year clocking in at 4.2% previously at 4.1%. These inflation indexes have been dropping. PCE is all the way down at 3.3, core PCE down at 4.2, but these month over month changes are still persisting. And that's why it's very, very likely that when these indexes keep on coming up and making new all time highs, 0.2%, 0.3% increases here and there, that we're going to see the index continue to push up. And we're probably going to see a turning point coming in PCE, just like we saw in CPI. Remember, the next CPI report is in approximately 13 to 14 days. And we do believe as well that the CPI index is going to continue pushing up on this front. So this is exactly why Bitcoin is down about 3.5% in only two hours. This is why when you're coming over to your altcoins, you see Solana down 5%, KDA down 5%, Gala down 5%, Jasmine down 2%. Doge down 3%, Litecoin down 5%. Basically, all of these altcoins are getting absolutely decimated at this moment in time. But before we talk about the price targets and talk about are we going to be coming down to 20,000, let's first of all very quickly update the macro in terms of the total cryptocurrency market cap. You can see this head and shoulders pattern, which we have been talking about on the channel, is absolutely looking beautiful right now. In fact, if we come over to the Heiken Arshis, you can see the bounce that we happened this week hasn't even made a turning point in terms of the red structure over on the Heiken Arshis. If we come back over to the Japanese candlesticks, you can see we've had a very, very brutal rejection. Typically, when you see these blow off top candles to the upside, it is often led with continuation back down to the downside. It is not looking good right now. The total cryptocurrency market cap is heading right down to the neckline at the psychological level of 1 trillion. If we break down from here, there is a M pattern price target if you're looking at this level here, and there's a head and shoulders price target from this head up here, respectively down at 750 all the way down to 700 billion for the total cryptocurrency market cap. It is not looking good. If we're coming over to the altcoin market cap, you can see this bleed out is absolutely taking place. While there is an argument that this is also a head and shoulders pattern, it could also just be a big M pattern. The beauty of this is you could look at this as an M pattern or a head and shoulders. The price target is exactly the same for the total altcoin market cap down at 317 billion, about a 40% drop from where we are at this moment in time. In the macro time frame, I want to remind you now that we've got about 24 hours, depending on where you live in the world, until we obviously have the start of a new month. And if we do look at the monthly time frame, as we've been talking about on the channel, we believe we are very, very close. We believe this bearish cross on the monthly stochastic RSI is going to come as soon as the 1st of September, which is tomorrow. If you look at the chart, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Look at what has happened every single time that the stochastic RSI has crossed bearish and topped out over in the markets for Bitcoin. This is called the top in 2017. This called the first top in 2021. This called this dead cat bounce back in 2019. And we believe this is calling for this dead cat bounce in 2023. This top is very similar to this top. And we believe that this top over here is very similar to this top over here. Of course, the macro, what is happening in the economy right now is very different than what was happening back here. So we personally believe, unlike this fractal, we're not going to make a higher low and come back up. We believe we're going to be making a lower low, but time will tell. Just wanted to give you a quick update on this chart. In terms of the retests which are happening right now, as you can see, a lot of people, a lot of Bitcoin bulls are probably hoping that this is going to be a double bottom and we're going to start heading up to the upside. My look on this is the fact that we've come up to this trend line right here and we've got rejected from it twice. And this rally that we saw today was a failed move. It caused a fast move in the opposite direction, depending 
on how you look at it. One could say this was a failed move, it was a fast move in the opposite direction, because this was something like a potential bear flag playing out. We failed to break to the downside, we had a fast move in the opposite direction. Someone who's a little bit more perspicacious and looking at different time frames than the daily might be coming over to the weekly and realizing we have just hit the bottom of this box at exactly 28 thousand which we have been talking about on the channel for quite some time now on the weekly we are making lower lows and lower highs and having swing failure patterns the same as we did back up here at 31,800 it is not looking good for bitcoin whatsoever at this moment in time if we do come over to the lower time frames on the daily you can see we have hit the bottom of this fib channel if we come over to our next chart you can see we had a very strong rejection from the bull market support bands the weekly ema ribbons and also the 200 week moving average we rallied into this like we talked about in yesterday's video they successfully trapped bitcoin bears we were opening low leverage shorts round about this region and these are bursting into the profit right now like we were talking about on the channel as well twenty-eight thousand. we wanted to see this get filled we wanted to fill this cme gap stomp out the late bears and then switch momentum back down to the downside and that is exactly what we are seeing right now. One thing I do want to quickly highlight before we analyze this chart even further is the fact that we are starting to form a bearish divergence. I'm going to keep this one quick because it's really only been forming for about two data points. So this might be a little bit of a stretch, but I do just want to point this out as a potential bearish divergence, which could be forming a little bit later and becoming more strong in the future. I'm just letting you know this is starting to form, may not play out, just something you might want to be aware of. As you can see, if we are zooming in and looking at the price action on the daily, we have been making lower highs for the past three days. And if we look at the oscillator on the daily for the past three days, we have been pushing up. Now, I do want to point out this is from this data point right here, because this is when you made the high, the next day you made a lower high, the next day you made a lower high. But on the oscillator down here, the stock, the MFI, despite the fact that we've been breaking down for the past 48, 72 hours or so, you can see the oscillator is still pushing up right now. So while this is very weak, this has only just been starting to play out. This may get invalidated tomorrow. I do just want to let you know that this is starting to form and this may be the precursor of a bigger bearish divergence forming and causing us to drop further in the future. Even if we're removing that and we're not looking at the divergence perspective, the stochastic RSI is at 82 right now, very overextended from a bearish retest of all of these important levels which we've been talking about. If we load up the EMA ribbons on the daily, you can see we did retest the daily EMAs, but I'm more interested in the weekly time frame. As you can see, like we've been detailing on the channel, this blow off wick to the upside filled the CME gap at 27,600. It retested bull market support bands. It retested the neckline of this ascending bullish 2023 trend line, which is also a head and shoulders pattern with a price target down here at 18,400. So to answer the question of the title of this video, do I think Bitcoin is moving back down to 20,000? I do think so. Like we talked about in the previous video, Bitcoin's 180 day realized volatility is right down at historic lows. We told you in the last video that this boring sideways chop was going to come to an end very, very soon and volatility was going to return. And that is exactly what I see happening right now. Volatility has been absolutely stagnant. And the reason the 100 80 day volatility is so flat is because well look at this range that we've been in on the daily time frame we've been the same price for the past 167 days now we are retesting all of these previous levels that were support like the trend lines the bull market support bands we're retesting them at the same level as before but not from a position of strength from a position of weakness. This is where the volatility steps in. This is where I think the next major move is. If we are coming over to the seven day Bitcoin liquidations map, you can see at this moment in time, shorts are starting to take a little bit more of a step into the market. Remember, we don't want to be in a short if this is a crowded trade at this moment in time. If we are looking at the BTC USDT liquidation map, you can see there is a plethora of potential long liquidations all amalgamating between 25,000 down to 23,000 and the price right now is at 26,400. We're only about $1,400 away until we come into this major major potential long liquidation cascade which could trigger the next explosive move back down to the downside. Remember longs are all piled up and still very very euphoric 
with their liquidations between 25 to 24,000 with historical volatility down at these lows right now and with a massive CME gap to fill down at 20,250 and a price target all the way down at 18,400 following this head and shoulders with all of these retests taking place, with all of these longs still in a situation of euphoria, I do believe it's very, very likely that Bitcoin is about to have its volatility take a major, major run up. And with that, I believe the direction of the price is going to be back down to the downside. I do also want to point out right now, if we are looking at volatility in the VIX over on the generic second VIX futures, right now we're still in very, very calm territory. It's almost like the market's are pricing in this poor economic data and this forward volatility thinking in the markets. I don't know how much more poor economic data, inflation data the markets need to start seeing more volatility step in, but I think we're very, very close. And if we wrap up on the S&P 500, like we talked about in the previous video, we were waiting for this retest of this ascending line, which has been holding up throughout March. We are retesting this right now. We retested it earlier at 4,530 from a position of weakness. And it's looking like this region right here might be the next major area of resistance on the S&P 500. So I'll see you at 20,000, my friends. That's where I think Bitcoin's heading down to. We'll keep you up to date in terms of the economic data, the inflation data. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get all of the Bloomberg charts together in time today to talk about all of these 2008 fractals that I wanted to talk about. And then this inflation data came out, Bitcoin started cascading. So it's looking like this 2008 S&P 500 economic data fractal video will probably be delayed until maybe tomorrow, but I'll keep you up to date. As always, if you enjoy the content, you know what to do. Make sure to leave a like, comment, share the videos with your friends. If you want to further support the channel, feel free to click the join button on YouTube, become a member today. It's been your boy Cowboy Trades. I'm out. Peace.